Hi, in this video, I'd like to show you the options for grade scales in Power Teacher Pro. Brand new is the class grade scale. This class option lets you create your own custom grade scales. Also, you have the student grade scale. This is what we were using before. This student option lets you assign grade scales from a predefined menu that is set by the district that you can choose for all of your students or individual students. So let's take a look at first the class grade scale, how you can create your own custom, and then we'll take a look at the student grade scale where you can assign that scale from a predefined menu for all your students or individual students. Creating and modifying class grade scales in Power Teacher Pro. You can access and adjust the grade scales for your classes in Power Teacher Pro. You can edit the cutoff points, grade values, and color levels, and choose to ignore specific grades in the grade scales assigned to your classes. When making changes, keep in mind that a class grade scale applies to all of the students in the class, except for individual students who are assigned to an alternative grade scale. Let's see how you can change your class grade scales in Power Teacher Pro. First thing is you're going to want to log into the MCS app portal and sign in. Once you are here, you're going to click on the Power Teacher app within the MCS app portal to launch Power Teacher. Then in the top left hand corner, click Power Teacher Pro. Click settings here on the left hand side and then click on class grade scales. From here, go ahead and click on this box that says default. It will drop down the default grade scale that is currently on the class. On the right hand side, click create custom. Then you're going to give it a name at the very top and check off all the courses that will have this new custom grade scale that you're going to create. Once you clicked on the classes, click create button here at the bottom. Now you'll see that you have a custom grade scale that you can customize the cutoff percent, the grade value, even change the color levels, and you can choose to ignore certain grades, especially if you did not want the plus or minus. You can choose to ignore those, and then your grade scale would be without the plus and minus. Now let's look at an example of creating a custom grade scale based on an extended lower grade scale. Remember, you can create your own custom, but let's look at this example. But I have this nifty grade scales uh, chart right here it's showing a traditional grade scale, 12 point, and extended lower range. So let's say I wanted to do this extended lower range, and I actually wanted to do this one right here where there's no plus or minus. So let's look at how to create this with that new custom class grade scale feature. So right here, I can customize if I don't want any plus or minuses. So I'm just going to go in and start to ignore those. So I'm going to find each row for the plus or minus and just click. I'm going to ignore those. I don't want those. And the I would be incomplete and M would be a no mark uh, that are listed there as well. So now we're going to do the cutoff percent. So I'm going to change this right here, the cutoff. So I'm basing it on this chart right here so you can kind of see where the cutoffs are uh, with the border lines. And let's say the A cutoff would be 90. With this, it won't let you have two different boxes with the value and you will not be able to uh, leave a box empty either. So even though I'm ignoring the plus or minuses, I have to put some value in there. So I'll just do that. And then the B, I'll change to an 80. So then what you're going to do is in the grade value percent, you're just going to match that. So we'll go right here and just match those to be the same that we had typed. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're going to click the Save button. Note that if you change or modify the class grade scale settings after grades are entered, you'll be prompted with the option to recalculate the final grades for the applicable classes. If you delete the custom grade scale after grades are entered, the deletion will force a recalculation of assignment scores and final grades for the associated sections, and you'll be prompted with a choice to proceed or not. So as I'm going to click the save button, I already have grades in the grade book. So I'll get that recalculation prompt. So I'll click save and it's asking me to recalculate the final grades. I'm going to click yes. And it will notify me at the top that they've been recalculated. If you wanted to modify, delete, or create another custom class grade scale, just head over to settings, class grade scales, and to modify or delete a current custom grade scale, just on the right hand side, click modify. And then again, you can choose what classes that would have this. You can also press delete button to delete that custom grade scale. If you wanted to create a new one, then just use the create custom button here at the top and walk through just as we did before. Here are some additional points to keep in mind when you're using this class grade scales that we just saw. Class grade scales do not roll over year to year. Only one class grade scale can be associated with a class. Co-teachers can create class grade scales for their classes if they have edit access to the classes. Thank you. The other option you have in Power Teacher Pro is assigning an alternate grade scale to students. And this is different than what we just saw, the custom class grade scale. So with the student grade scales, you can assign alternate grade scales to students who need to be graded using a grade scale that's different from the scale assigned to the class. For example, you have a student whose IEP states the use of an alternate grade scale. You can use the student grade scale settings to assign the alternate scale to the students or to the full class itself from a district defined menu. So let's take a look. On the left hand side, click on settings, then click on student grade scales. To add a student grade scale, take note of the class period that you have selected and you'll use the add button here on the right hand side. If that class period already has student grade scales, you'll see that listed here right below the add button and you'll see the students names and what grade scale they've been added to. Let's say I wanted to add a student grade scale to period three here. So I'll click on it. On the right hand side, click add. And then at the very top, I'm going to click this drop down menu. And you get to choose from a defined menu of district created grade scales. So let's say I wanted to use this 12 point grade scale with my whole class. So I just click on it, click the top checkbox, it will select every student. And then I would just click save there at the bottom. This would take effect for the whole class. But let's say I just wanted to add a, this grade scale that I choose from the menu, and I just wanted to add it to select students. Maybe they have an IEP or 504 plan. All I have to do is click on the checkbox to select those students, and I can click Save here at the bottom. Then go ahead and click Save Changes. When you go to Grading here on the left side, click Score Sheet, and you want to make sure you choose that class period from the menu. And then you're going to want to click on the gear and choose recalculate final grades. Do that to any class that you've done the student grade scale with and click recalculate. Thank you.